Hi everyone, welcome to Center of Balance Live. I'm Sinan Pua from Center of Balance, the acupuncturist. Well, today our topic, we're going to talk about tinnitus. What is tinnitus? Tinnitus is actually a um, ringing sound that you can hear the ringing sound, some sound that in your ear. But that sound is not surrounding from the surrounding area from others people you know which means people that surrounding you they can't hear and just you yes just you you can hear right we talk about tinnitus ringing sound in your ear now what are you going to do what can you do and what causes tinnitus well, from today's start we're gonna set up a little topic every day it's about 10 minutes for this topic okay then I'm going to show you some acupressure point that how you can perform acupressure point for tinnitus well a lot of people suffer with tinnitus and it's annoying it's very annoying <laughs> and what is the best treatment for tinnitus oh, oh we actually offer acupuncture and Chinese medicine for now we treat we have experience and we successfully treat tinnitus you know and your medical doctor or your GP may not know about acupuncture and Chinese medicine could help tinnitus right so we have treating a lot for the la in the last uh, 14 years and I'll go through it from today little topic little topic every day to show you where it come from what what do we think about tinnitus according to Chinese medicines now if you're in this live video on Facebook Instagram and um, YouTube please give me a thumbs up and say hi to me and as well as share this live video you on Facebook if you're on uh, YouTube please give me a thumbs up and ring the bell and subscribe to this YouTube channel thank you very much now let's start to talk about tonight tinnitus well many people yeah right, many many people experience an occasional ringing it could be ringing it could be buzzy it could be a roaring or tingling a tickling tickling so tickling in the ears in their ears or can be one ear can be both right the sound usually lasts for only a few minutes right I have experience with that I don't know about you if you have the experience of this kind of sound that people can hear it's sounding like, mm, I had that you know it may just last a few minutes or just few seconds not even minutes okay ringing sound in the ears that does not get better or go away what do we call that it's called tinnitus well, in a medical term we call it tinnitus you may hear a sound such as a ringing or roaring what's ringing it can be it can be it could be high pitch it could be low pitch that's that's not well this kind of sound does not come from your surrounding nobody can hear you people around you they can't hear you you, you ask your partner you ask your family members none of them can hear and some people may think that, oh this is some bird it's not from the birds right it is not well if you ask people that are around you and nobody can hear you and just you can hear and that is tinnitus um, so the sound may keep time with your heartbeat heartbeat it may keep pace with your breathing so what does that mean that some people not just they're not hearing mm, the kind of sound ringing they actually keep boop, 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 boop. like your heart 
pulsing. Your heart actually beeping. It's that kind of sound. Now, in general, as we are normal, you're not supposed to hear your heartbeat. Right? This is the one. You're not supposed to hear your heartbeat. But well, when should you hear? <laughs> so if you put your ear in your partner and the people's chest, then you'll be able to hear. Right? If you hear your heartbeat, that is abnormal. Right? Or you can hear something that in your neck in here, then that could be what we call tinnitus as well. Like the muscle twitching. Tuk, 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 tuk that kind of sound and that is a type of tinnitus as well um, tinnitus is most common in people older much older right it's about older than uh, age 40 right so apparently men have problems with tinnitus more often than women men more often than women but it's funny enough that I actually um, see more women than men. It could be because we're seeing more women in our clinic. So in our case, are actually more women than men. Okay, because our clinic uh, see a lot of fertility issues, problem, and in uh, women health issues. So we actually seeing more cases with tinnitus in women than uh, men, to be honest. More intense at night before sleeping. Yeah, Lucia, that's right. Now, tinnitus more intense at night time before sleeping. Yep, yeah, it could be that. Yes, I absolutely agree with that. Now. Tinnitus, when you silent, when it's silent, you hear more obvious. When people talking around in daytime, there's car around there, there is other a building, building, building sounds around it, you don't hear as much. At nighttime, more obvious when it's silent. So what happened is people buy a white noise or people turn on radio, turn on radio. The whole day or the, the whole night for them to be able to get to sleep okay that's one thing um that is not exactly uh treating it you just um getting something to help for you be able to go to sleep to help you to go to sleep right yeah more intense when i pay attention to it yes it could be that that is why there's another treatment called to make it into your life, to accept it rather than against this noise, which means you accept that you try to focus on it and relax on your focusing, close your eyes and you hear it and you make friend with it to accept this part of your life. When you accept it, it's there, but you don't hear it as much. Or put it that way, you don't, you still hear it, but it's not to the point that annoying you because you accept it already, right? This is one thing, right? Today, um, we're just gonna finish in here. So acupuncture and Chinese medicine will be able to help it. And in the next couple of days, we're gonna keep going with this topic. We're gonna let you know. We're gonna talk about what causing it and what is the best treatment for and what can you do at home right that's something that you can do that i show my patients some acupressure point that uh to help them reduce and you may get instant relief once you do those acupressure points right it may right it may not if it's not then or even it may you get result from it and it keep coming back and the best solution is you know Go for acupuncture and Chinese medicine treatment, but you have to find the right person because tinnitus is very difficult case, and not everyone have the experience and confidence to deal with it. But we do have 
um, a lot of cases in our clinic and we do um, uh, do it successfully uh, with tinnitus so if you are in Hamilton uh, New Zealand this is the number that you can contact us 07846795607846 now if you have acupuncturist now stay tuned uh, we're gonna go through slowly and let you know sorry for the question do you have any treatment for vertigo yet vertigo dizziness okay one of the tinnitus is causing from vertigo which which type more common many a disease yes we treat many a disease and i have recently just treat one um, many a disease actually causing uh, hearing loss and I spent about two months to get her uh, hearing back to normal and that's a nerve damage which uh, the specialist told her that that's not going to recover at all 100% no right and he, she was very very sad about it uh, but when she came for dizziness, vertigo, and I treated vertigo, and I know this is many a disease, and I told her that, well, what about you? I asked her, what about your ear? Ringing sound. Do you get ringing sound? She said, no, I don't get ringing sound. Or um, she got not hear. She can't hear in one ear at all. I said, well, let's try acupuncture. I didn't promise because it's a very difficult case. And I put some needle in and then she actually felt she can hear, she start to hear things. Because how do we know we block in that one ear and test out this ear at before acupuncture and I talk and she can't hear and her daughter is beside. And then I put needle in and I block that one and I stimulate the needles and I talk again and she said, I can hear you a little bit. And she started to cry. Why is that? Because she see hope. It was happiness because she see hope that she can hear a little bit. She, um, and I told her that, well, your specials was not right. I think I will be able to help you because we tested out already. You instantly respond to my treatment. And then we keep going for about two months and she can hear properly. No problem at all. So yes, Lucia, vertical is one of our uh, specialized things, we treat a lot of vertical as well. And vertical, one of those many a disease, and it can cause from others as well. Now, if you are acu an acupuncturist and you would like to know more about me and or you would like to know about how we actually help um, to how, how we actually help uh, be able to treat all this problem, and we have our, an online courses which is balance method acupuncture, uh, local balance. And balance method acupuncture is one of the techniques that I use to treat uh, tinnitus. Well, you can go down there and check on the link and click it and buy our online courses. And I'll support you and you have um, money back guarantee for the online courses. Uh, within 30 days, if you don't, you're not happy about it, and you can tell me and I'll send you back the money. What? Right. Stay awesome and I love you all. I'll see you tomorrow. Bye bye.